UNRWA's chief stated that very little humanitarian aid has reached besieged Gaza this month. A 50% decrease from January. This report has more. UNRWA's most recent report stated that approximately 98 relief vehicles reached Gaza on average this month. Due to security restrictions and temporary closures, the agency observed significant difficulties in passing supplies via the crossing at Kerem Shalom and Rafah. UNRWA has had to temporarily halt discharging supplies owing to security reasons. The agency said that ground operations and heavy fighting continue throughout the Gaza Strip, particularly in northern Gaza, Deir Balah, and Khan Yunus. People fleeing the severe fighting in and around Khan Yunus continue to go south to Rafah. Approximately 1.5 million Palestinians are sheltering in the city, which remains an international concern. According to UNRWA, the increased airstrikes in Rafah could impede already overextended humanitarian efforts. At the same time, Palestinians have started leaving Rafah for Deir Balah and Nusayrat refugee camps in Gaza's middle area, despite reports of more fighting and bombings in those places. Up to 1.7 million people, or more than 75% of Gaza's population, have been displaced since the IOF attacks started. According to the UN Humanitarian Affairs Office, OCHA, Food insecurity is a crisis for over 2 million people. The Palestine Red Crescent Society received assistance from OCHA and the UN Health Agency WHO in the evacuation of 72 critical cases from a Nasser hospital in Khan Yunus. The hospital continues to have difficulty operating due to a lack of flowing water or electricity, food and water shortages, solid waste buildup and sewage overflow. In the meantime, the situation in Gaza is causing preterm births and newborns in Gaza are dying because their mothers are unable to go to prenatal or postnatal checkups. UN Representative Stefan de Jerich said that the UN is prepared to support ongoing initiatives to help the Palestinians overcome the humanitarian, political, financial and security problems.